See little baby Ferdinand's? He's a good boy. I'll say it again. Most snake keepers can agree with me that snakes don't chase people. And so why is it that people assume that if they turn around, they're going to bite you? That they're going to chase you? Why do you assume that? Of an animal who's just, you know, what else does he have? He has a head. You know, the body follows the head. What the fuck else do you want him to do? You know, you want him to just trot? What should he do? He's just going in different directions. He's exploring his environment. He's not trying to hurt me. He's just going in the way of my hand. Now, what if I were to assume he's going to bite me? That's what hook people do. Then they twitch, and then they get bit. You know, and then they blame me. You know, the thing is, it takes practice. And the hookers, the ones that use the hooks only, they just don't want to really put in the time and effort. And a lot of them, honestly, don't have the balls to do it. Let's just be honest. It takes a little bit of cojones, right? And if you're not willing to... You know, if you don't have any courage at all, I mean, if you're just a straight up, you know, use a hook, but don't expect their behavior to improve if you're not giving them positive experiences. You know, if you're going to use a hook once a week to clean the cage, then remember, that's what you're doing. You have a plant or a, a specimen, or and they call them that, or you have something that is very much like a painting to look at, what you guys call living art. I never use that term. I think he's beautiful. It's not a piece of art. You know, this is my boy Ferdinand. He's my little buddy. And I've come to trust him. And that's why he trusts me. Even now he could bite me. He could easily bite me. But he's not. Why would he? I know where to touch him to get him to bite me. I'm not doing it. I'm just saying. You know, that's one of the advantages when you work with them. You learn shit like that. Is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. If you're not willing to die for it, of course you shouldn't do it. But if you are that in love with it, if you really feel that kind of joy of interacting with an animal like this, well, then you go slow. You start easy. You don't start with the fertile lands. You start with whatever snake that you like, right? That's like the one you want to work up to. And you use a hook. And then slowly you start replacing the back part with your hand. You put it back, put it down, put it back, put it down. I made millions of videos on this. Watch them, they're good. Fucking outstanding videos. I should be getting A-pluses for this shit. So, that's my spiel. I gotta stop because I'm thirsty now. Alright, say goodbye. He says goodbye. He's a good boy.